Hey guys, today we're gonna go on a hike again. And last time we went to Valencia Peak, which is, which was around 2.1 miles there and back. Now there, 2.1 miles back, another 2.1 miles, and that was really fun. This time we're gonna go to Madonna hike, which is also called the Sierra San Luis. Um, so this is where this is the map of the hike. So we're starting here, and the hike you can uh, bike or climb. You can just walk around, and these are the plants you probably see on the walk. And these are some like instructions to have a good hike. Um, bring enough water. You can have sunscreen on because it's kind of hot right now. It's around 12 o'clock, 12, 10, and it's really hot. So it'll be re really recommended to get some water and sunscreen. Um, wear a hat, closed toes, because there's a lot of rocks around the ground. You don't want to step on those. Um, have a map if you are familiar. We're kind of familiar. We've been here around two or three times. So we probably might do the no, but we haven't been here for a pretty long time. So we had to just walk and just try to find the way. Um, hike with a friend. There might be some like animals here that, we, that are pretty dangerous. Uh, don't just hike in one place, search out new hikes. There's probably multiple hikes over there. Last time there's Valencia Peak and some other hikes. And we went to Valencia Peak, but this one there's multiple hikes. Um, so Madonna is, one of the Nine Sisters. So one of the Nine Sisters is, is a, a long time ago, millions of years ago, there was a lot of volcanoes in San Luis Obispo. And they're, now they're all extinct and there are now mountains. Um, so this hike, I forgot to mention, but this hike is in San Luis Obispo. And on the top, we will take a lot of like stops to take more videos, but on the top, uh, we'll show you uh, different areas around San Luis Obispo. So yeah, we can start walking. We'll meet you there later. So we're gonna go this way and around up there. That's the trail right there. We're gonna go around and to the top. And on the top, there's like um, there's a, like um, spot to sit down. And also a pool. And in Christ in Christmas, there they put like lights to represent a Christmas tree. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we can stop the video right now, and we'll meet you guys up there. Okay. Okay, so we've been here for 30, like, 36 minutes, and that's Bishop Peak over there. And that's another Nine Sisters. It's very tall, um, and there's also a road down there. And if you go over here, down the road, and take the right over there, that's the way to Valencia Peak. Montana Diero, that's the place. And as you can see, these roads are very large. Um, around probably 20 feet in the width. And there's been a lot of people, a lot of dogs, a lot of bikers, a lot of runners and normal hikers. Um, there's also been a lot of gates over there. And at first point, we didn't know where the, uh, how to get into the hike because the gate was kind of blocked and we thought it was locked. So we were confused and finally someone came and opened the door, opened the gate and so we walked up. And so the it, the whole hike is four miles there and back and it, time is two hours and 15 minutes. And right now it's been really fun. Sometimes it's been quite tiring and the, the sun is kind of bright, but it's doing good. There's been a lot of bugs on the way as well, and we also saw a massive tree, if you can see right here. This is one of the smaller trees, but we've seen a tree around 30, 40 feet with a rock also on the side of it that was very big as well. Um, there's also very, a lot of plants that we've seen on the way. If you can see, there's multiple plants, a lot of orange, red plants. And so we'll walk for a little bit, and oh yeah, and also, I forgot to mention, but there's also Laguna Lake over there. And our house is next to there with a bunch of cities. I mean, a bunch of buildings over there. So we'll walk for a little bit and yeah. So come on. So we're gonna stay on the right side because there's a lot of bikers and we don't wanna get in their way. They go very fast. Cause this thing is pretty steep and we don't want to get in their way. 
So there's a lot of flowers over here. Um, and on the right side, lots of plants. And so we're gonna be walking. Right now there's no one here, but we're probably gonna see more people. And so when we go to the top, we're gonna see other places. But right now, those two places are the most common in um, San Luis Obispo right now. Okay, so that's it for the video right now. And we're gonna go uh, up higher and we'll take the next video. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're almost at the top. The top is up there and that's there's a platform up there and we'll talk about that later. But, um, so that's Laguna Lake. This is a better view of the start and to finish. Yeah, and our school, my elementary school was around there, that area over there. And my Laguna Middle School is around over there. Um, so this is the 101 highway, if you move slowly. There's the 101 highway right there. And we, um, Madonna Inn is over there. Next, there's a, there's a kind of a sign over there. And, and now there's not really much places to see that I can see properly, but there's also a farm way over there, which uh, you probably can't see much. Um, yeah, but we'll start walking up and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start going. So we're gonna walk up this hill right here. So come up. We're gonna go right. Come this way. There's two ways, we don't really know which way to go. I'm just gonna go right. So, slowly start going. So come on. I'm just gonna hold on to these places. And uh, but he, I text, I'm like just updating everyone on the timeline and he texted me, he goes, I was like, oh, okay, we're at the top of the night coming down and he goes, love it, got the exercise part out of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like a little of a person. Because we're kind of high, it's kind of steep. We'll take the last video right here. So on the top, there's a platform and there's like a, we can, there's a pole where you keep like Christmas lights on top, which looks like a Christmas tree. So the video's gonna end right now. Oh. Mm. You're gonna go up. Slowly start walking up. Go this way. This area is a lot more steeper than the Valenza Peak that we did last time. Go here. Okay. So this is the pole that I'm talking about right here. And if 
This is probably where they put the Christmas tree, like the lights. There's no tree, but they just put lights around. Um, like I always see it when I'm going down the highway, and I always see a bunch of lights there in the nighttime. And I'll start going up this way. Some wire problems right now, but okay. We start going this way, and we're gonna go up here and try to jump over this, which probably won't be able to be came with the camera. And so, and down. Well, can you put the wire? I have reached the top. So I'm right here. And this is the peak right here. Um, there's a lot of areas around. Uh, Bishop Peak's over there. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold the camera right now because my dad's gonna come on top. So, Bishop Peak is right there bunch of buildings over there take it slow so this is the pole right here this is the pole that I'm talking about um yeah and I'm pretty sure this is where they put the lights to make the Christmas tree there around it's really beautiful around here and it's like really windy so right here that's where we can take our break and we'll meet you soon down so there's a lot of butterflies as well that was it right there and we'll meet you later okay bye So we finally finished and we're back at the board from the beginning of the video and it was really fun. It would, took around two hours and 20 minutes, which is really close to the time that they said it would take in the website that we looked at. Um, it was really fun and we saw multiple areas and we hope to come back soon. Um, so yeah, it was really fun and this is the highway right here, right over here on the left side, didn't mention it. Um, it was really tiring kind of sometimes because our legs would hurt because of the back over here when we were coming down it was starting to get really steep and so we would have to hold ourselves down so we don't just fall down or slip or anything and so it would like be more tiring and when we go home we're just gonna have some like lay down and sleep so yeah we'll start walking to the car So this is the first gate to go into the thing. So we're now we're out of the Sierra San Luis hike and we're walking. A couple of years ago, I stood on this stone, so why not do it right now? Okay, all right, so the, so the video's gonna be over right now. This is the same exact stone that I stood probably a couple of years ago. I probably stood on it by my dad's help, my dad helping me. And my dad's the one recording me right now. Um, so like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when we're gonna post next. And yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. 
I should move, I should move, I should move. There's a car. Alright, bye.